What's up, everybody? We finally have the air show assistant to deliver to you folks. I believe it is coming out tonight. Hopefully, that's uh, you know how the marketplace is, but let's get right into this tutorial, guys. It's been a long time coming. We've worked really hard on it. Um, there is a bit of a learning curve. Bottom line is I'm going to show you how to do all this, and I'm going to tell you the best, best practices and where we, we will find issues, okay? Let's get right into it. So you're going to see this icon right here that's called the air show assistant. You're going to click on that. Now, the beautiful thing is, so as you can see in smoke, um, you have these four white pillars. That's where you can move things around. It's beautiful. Now, for this example, I've already saved it. So once you do everything you want, you can save it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk very fast in this, guys, because we've got a lot to cover. So I'm going to load up my smoke. And as you can see, I have green smoke on. Now, if I click one of these, as you're going to see, and you need a mouse, guys, I would highly suggest a mouse with this. You're going to see that white little mark right there, okay? So if I turn smoke on, smoke's going to come out of that, as you can see. So we got green smoke. If I turn it on, it's going to come on, and I'll show you how to button map and everything. So that little icon right there is movable backwards, Front, down, up. Also, you can tilt it downwards. You could tilt it upwards, and you can also tilt it out with these arrows right here. So you have basically anywhere you want to go, okay? So uh, let me try to line this up again to get it back to where it was. So that's how you move those guys. It's really that simple. So let me move it back down, and you want to line it up, uh, you know, give it some room. Basically, that's good. It's not going to be perfect for this video because it's a tutorial. As you can see, it's a little high. So I'm going to go up here, see where we're at. Okay, I got you there. So I'm going to move that down a little bit. So I'm going to go back down to this down arrow. There you go. So that's basically uh, that's basically going to be perfect. You want that middle cylinder to be lined up with wherever you want the smoke to come out. So I'm going to go over again, up. Okay, excuse me, up is right over here. There you go. So smoke on, you can see it works. Beautiful. You have four different ones, so you guys can place those anywhere. Now I will tell you, there's a bunch of parameters down here. So you can see lifetime of the smoke, the size of the smoke, smoke spread, the opacity, the density. So if you run this full throttle with all four, you're gonna have frame rate issues heavily. You really can't do that. That is just the limits of the game. We wanted to create uh, you know, a, a situation where you guys would have all the options in the world. But if you run, for example, if you go to lifetime at you know, 100 and you get up in the air, you're going to have frame rate issues if you max out on the smoke. So let's turn this smoke on to the left. First of all, I'm going to turn this right one off. So I'm going to go like that. And you just need to turn short off, okay? Short is basically the smoke. And we'll get to the other things in a minute, okay? So let's go back to this one. As you can see, it's highlighted right there. I'm going to go short. So now I only have this one on. Excuse me, on. All right? So as you can see, if I make this size 100, look how big that gets. Looks really good. We don't want it on this one. That would look foolish on this one. So let's turn that back to uh, 30. Smoke spread. Kind of the same thing. You can play around with that. So there's just, it's just built really well, guys. It's amazing. The opacity is how, how thick it is. So obviously, I'd want 100% opacity at all times. But depending on where you're flying, guys, you're going to have frame rate hits. So I run mine basically at, I'd say on this one, so I can see it pretty good. Anywhere from 50 to 60, depending on where I'm flying. If I'm flying at a high, uh, like a high detailed location, you, you're going to have to manage that accordingly. Velocity is just how hard it shoots out. See it just floating around there? If I put velocity at high, it's like pounding out that way, okay? Density is thickness. If I go to density 100%, it's really thick. If I go to density all the way down, it's accordingly, okay? So that's self-explanatory. I usually keep density around 50. Turbulence is how much you want the air to impact the smoke and stuff like that. I usually leave mine at 20. Guys, we have all the colors you could want. Uh, here's yellow, blues, pink. Uh, they, they all look really good. I'm colorblind, so uh, forgive me if I say the wrong color. I think this is the red, the reds, oranges, uh, grays. You got black uh, down here. You got dark black. 
So that'd, uh, that'd be good for some exhaust on uh, bigger planes, if you will. There's just all kinds of uh, all kinds of stuff, guys. So we'll just turn it to uh, green again. See here, uh, that was close. So that's smoke, guys, in a nutshell. Now you guys can you know ask me questions. I'll do the best to answer. So once you have that done, you're gonna want to save that. Okay, I'm not gonna save it in this instance because I already have all my other stuff up. And then anytime you load into this plane, it'll automatically be saved for you. Now. Uh, if you turn this short off, we're going to go to uh, make it a little darker here. Okay. Pyro. There you go. See the sparks coming out? Now you guys are going to have to uh, adjust your lifetime, stuff like that. Opacity is big on this one. Um, the sparks look phenomenal when, they, when, you start, when you start flying, guys. It's incredible. Smoke spread, so you can spread it out. And uh, they, they look they look great when you start driving. So uh, that's that's how you do pyro. It's just that simple. It's going to be the same. Now, you can't turn. Uh, it, it's up to you if you want. If you wanted to turn just pyros on, then just do not hit short. Because if I hit short as well, that green smoke's going to come out, as you see. So you would just want to hit pyro. I never mess with ribbon, guys, on this. We, we've agreed to just ribbon is what it is. Sometimes it doesn't look, you know, as good as we want it to. And... Uh, Alex from Touching Cloud has already noted that. Trail gives uh, gives heavy frame rates, guys. So trail is, uh, let me make it uh, bright again for everybody. So trail is, uh, it, it is cool, but you have to manage it accordingly. You just have to figure out what works for you guys. Again, we're not here to dismay anybody or uh, exaggerate this product. It is what it is. It's a phenomenal product. You guys will love it. It just has limitations like anything else, and we're up front about our stuff. So as you can see, bam. Now uh, I'm gonna load back my back in my uh, exact parameters. There you go. So that's exactly what I saved. So again, short off, short on. Now, um, in this there, there's button mapping. Button mapping is important, obviously, guys. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna when you have your smoke ready and you have that on, all you're gonna do is click A with your mouse, click it again, and you're gonna see this come up. And then you're gonna button map accordingly. Now, my light switches are, are the smoke, okay? So I'm gonna go like that. There you go. Now I'm button mapping it. That's to my lights. We could only do so many guys as, um, not every plane has water rudders, things of that nature. Okay, so um, next we're going to look at, so that's basically smoke, in a nutshell with pyro okay that's my that's my overall you know ceiling training on that guys there's a lot to do and you guys will uh you know understand it as a, accordingly now also i wanted to say as you can see that white thing's there now i basically just it's right there still with the smoke pod you don't want that on obviously so i usually just click flares and then back to smoke now it's gone now if i click that it's back again okay and again you'll have four of those to play with so let's go into uh, let's go into flares. I don't know that you guys will have your fast times Vero. I'm in developer mode because I'm an Xbox tester, so uh, that I don't know. Uh, so let's look at the flares, guys. So flares is basically the same thing. You're gonna have four different flares. Everything applies still, guys. I leave my lifetime on flares at uh, at zero. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and load these into. So there you go, as you can see, I had green as well from the last flight I did. So I leave my lifetime at zero, guys. That works for me, and I get no frame rate issues. Flames per series is how many flames, uh, uh, excuse me, flares are gonna shoot out at one time. The series is, for example, if I put it on four, or uh, yeah, let's just say four, and I put this series on eight, it's gonna shoot four flares out at a time, eight different times. So basically, bam, 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 bam little pause bam 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 it's gonna do that to eight okay velocity is how far you want the flare to shoot from your airplane i leave it at around 70 usually um accuracy is basically kind of the same thing i'm still studying that guys as we've refined this product a lot i don't really mess with accuracy i leave it there air resistance is how much you want the air to impact depending on fa how fast you're going density is how thick you want the smoke off the flare gravity is how 
How much does the flare drop down? I usually leave it at 50 to the ground, how fast it does. Smoke spreads at 100. Opacity is at 100. Size is at 70. So all these are good. And it's the same thing. Now, you can only have one color of flares at a time, guys. You can't make your left one yellow, your right one blue, so on and so forth, okay? So let's see where my uh, blue one is. We're going to click that. As you can see, it's highlighted. It's buried under here somewhere. I think I put these down here. So I'm going to uh, come find this. Press down, down, down. There it is, okay? So as you can see, I've got that angled out to fire flares down and to the right. Again, you can move that anywhere. This is up and down. You can move it up. You can uh, move it different angles. It's amazing, okay? So you'll know that. And then when you want to click this one, the other one that I've got set, it should be right on the other side because I wanted two flares. So let's, uh, let's move that one down. It'll show up. There you go. See, it was buried inside the plane. So you want to shoot. You want to put it to where like it's pretty much inside the plane, so that the start of the flare looks like it's coming out from the basic shell of the aircraft. Okay. So uh, that's that. And again, as you see, I'm gonna load back up what I saved. If I wanted to save this, guys, and I got um, all the colors down here, so I chose green for these as well. I'm just gonna load back up, and there we're good. We're back to uh, where I started. If I like those changes. I'm simply going to uh, save them up here, okay? Now, the beautiful thing is on the smoke, I'm going to go back to the smoke real quick. If I found the perfect parameter for this, uh, this one right here and I like it, all I have to do, and I want the right wing to be the exact same, meaning uh, all this stuff, the velocity, density, the color, all I have to do is hit copy that, click on this one, and then press paste. It's beautiful. I'm not going to do that now because I've already got mine set. So you can copy and paste them all so that you don't have to set up. You'll only have to set up the location. Uh, so it's very, very nice, guys. Very nice. So, uh, so yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, it's uh, it, it takes some getting used to, believe me. You're going to have to find out. Let's get in the air real quick, guys. Oh, and by the way, so flares, I always... Um, here's another thing I almost forgot. So let me click this right here so if i'm using flares guys i'm using it on a parking brake system so if i hit my parking brake they're all gonna um hold on a second i'm not in the right setup so uh let me just see so let's do this live there you go see they're all firing out on the ground now again we're gonna click this and i'm gonna go on parking brake okay so now i've got uh I'm going to turn this to, just for example, four and leave it at that. So if I hit my parking brake, there you go. They're coming out. So the parking brake is going to be the best for flares because in, in the air, the parking brake doesn't matter. But what happens is, is you're going to get frustrated like I did and I learned a way out of it. And uh, that's why this product is so good that Alex built us. So say I'm taxiing. Look, I can't taxi because my parking brake's on. So I got to release the parking brake and then your flares shoot out so we've thought about that as well should i say alex has so what you're going to want to do just click the flare if you have all four you'll have to do this with all four of them but uh let me scroll up here for a second so you're going to click this and you're going to disarm it okay so now it's not armed so now if i hit launch flares it's only coming out of one side you see so i'm also going to disarm this one now, if I use the parking brake, as you can see, I'm looking at it on the right. There you go. See? So, as you can see, guys, uh, that works. Now, if I turn back, uh, I click this one and I go arm, you're going to see the color pop up that you chose. And then I'm going to arm this one again. Now, if I hit parking brake, it's back on. You see? So essentially, guys, that's it. That's I, I wanted to cover this as fast as I could for you. We've already been going on 15 minutes. But like I said, so let me get up in the air. Um, guys, you're going to love this product. Um, I don't know if you're like me. I like options, guys, because the game can get boring. As you can see, I'm going to turn on uh, smoke. Look at that, man. Green smoke right away. Looking beautiful. As you can see, I'm not having any frame rates. So the life of that smoke, I think, was at, 
I don't even know what that life was at 40. Turn the smoke off, fire flares, boom. All button mat. Now that's with zero lifetime on the flares. So they go, the smoke disappears pretty soon, uh, pretty fast as you can see. Which, which the effect looks awesome, guys. If you max that out, you're going to have frame rate issues. There was no way around it. It's that, uh, that's, the, that's just the limitations of the game. So again, we wanted to build you a game that you'd have all the options. Just know, if you max out on the options, it'll crush the frame rate. Okay? So look at that. Those flames look, uh, excuse me, those flares look great, and that's at a zero lifetime. Boom, smoke. It's just such a beautiful thing, guys. So yeah, play around with it, guys, and uh, you can ask me questions. I've been doing this for over a month, trying to refine it, and uh, special thanks to Alex for having the uh, the courage to be to, to be brave and innovative, guys. This is how you win in life, innovation and giving the people what they want. Alex contacted me and said, I want you to be my man, Josh. You're the one that wanted flares and smoke, and I said, uh, bring it on, man. Let's go, and, uh, and we, we succeeded, guys. So uh, everything's cool to go, guys. I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And like I said, this should be coming out tonight. Forgive me if this wasn't rendered HD. I wanted to get it right out for you guys because there's a learning curve, and uh, I want you guys to have fun. All right. So uh, best wishes, guys. Make it a great day. Later.